Welcome back to the Retro Car Guy 530 YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be describing the changes I've made and show you the changes I made in my 2014 Chevrolet Caprice PPV to the dead pedal, the brake pedal, and the accelerator pedal in this particular vehicle. I was making a dead pedal cover change because I found a comfort issue in my Chevy SS sedan. I had a 15 and a 17 SS sedan, and I found that the bolstering in those seats were quite firm, and my left leg, given where my foot would rest on the dead pedal area, would end up getting a bit sore, uh, irritated after like 50 or 100 mile drive. So I ended up putting the dead pedal cover in and I put some spaces underneath it to space it out and I'll show you that in a little bit. So I did the same thing in my Caprice and then of course I had a billet aluminum cover on the dead pedal area but then I didn't have anything on the brake pedal or the accelerator pedal. So I sourced the parts from the Chevy SS sedan, they ended up being compatible. So the 14th or 17th Caprice should uh, map over exactly to the parts that I found. Although they aren't readily available, I did find them at rockauto.com, not a sponsor, but that's where I found them. And I installed them and they've been working just fine. So I'll show you that information down in the description section. So check out the description section for that part information and other links that you might be able to help support the channel with my affiliate links or Patreon and check those out. And if you haven't uh, already subscribed to the channel, of course, of course, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, it's free, and make sure you hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos like this on the channel. So let's start showing you the dead pedal change that I made to the Caprice. I'm going to begin the installation of the dead pedal with the shims spacing the bottom portion out further. I have a limited amount of space that I can go with the parking brake here so it can only be so far out and this gets fairly close as it is with this particular thickness but the main objective is to get the bottom portion out uh, further so that the resting position for my foot is uh, pushed out and I'll show you some pictures of the different positions so these have already been pre-drilled since I have already installed this I'm just reinstalling it for demonstration purposes here And I have some industrial Velcro over here, the soft-sided side over here, so that in case it hits the kick panel over here, uh, it's not going to tap against it. I've learned that in the, the previous installations of this pedal in my Chevy SS sedan. And then again, this gets a nice offset for my foot. And then we can see that it comes close, but it's not touching, so it does not interfere with that. Next, we're going to replace the brake pedal cover with this one here, and it has this shield side here, and we'll see when we pull this one off. It also So let's remove the sticker. And I'm gonna lubricate it just a little bit with some detailing spray to make it a little bit easier to go over the corners. And all the corners are over the corners of the metal pedal. That's now in place. Next, we're going to replace the entire pedal assembly the part number for this is the same as the one in the Chevrolet SS sedan with the billet aluminum pedal cover. And the part chart that I found showing the non-billet one for the SS sedan was the same one that has been installed in the Caprice PPV, although the SS sedan was always equipped with the billet aluminum pedal cover. So you never saw that one in there, but that's how I've backtracked into this particular part number. And it makes sense that it should be similar to the Chevy SS sedan. So let's remove the 10 millimeter headed bolt that's here, and then there's a connector up here, and this should tip up and out of the bracket on the top. So let's get that bolt out. There's an air vent duct work piece up here. That's why it's necessary to use the ratchet here.
the red connector, pop that out. And there should be a six connector, six pin connector, one, two, three, yep, six. Connector snapped on with the red lock in place. And there we have it. We have all three pedals installed. Of course, this is an aftermarket one and these are two AC Delco GM products, but uh, they're in. Next, we'll start the engine and make sure there's no codes and that the accelerator pedal actually works. I attach my Auto Maxisys MS906 scan tool to my Caprice PPV, found no diagnostic trouble codes, took the vehicle on a test drive, found no behavior problems with the vehicle, I've been using it the last couple of days, I had no problems with it and no DTCs have shown up since then, so that was successful. I'm now going to show you the part number information I used while researching which accelerator pedal to purchase for the Caprice PPV. The part number information on screen is actually from a 2014 Chevy SS sedan. The reason I use that since the 14 through 17 Caprice PPV is most similar to the 14 through 17 SS sedan and the fact that the SS sedan came with accelerator pedal with the aluminum cover and the brake pedal with the aluminum cover. Now, in that case, you wouldn't expect to find a part number listed for a 14 SS sedan without the aluminum cover, but in this case it does. And luckily that's beneficial in this case because the Caprice part number for the accelerator pedal is the one that's actually listed on the bottom there. Now there's a couple of RPO codes listed. The MYC is for the six speed, 6L80 automatic transmission and both vehicles have that same transmission, which is in common with them, so that's great. But the JF5 RPO code is for aluminum covers versus not having the aluminum pedal covers. So the SS sedan seemed to always have that. I'm not aware of any SS sedan being sold without it in North America. So the part number on the top is the one that usually would be found in the SS sedan. But if you look at the one on the bottom, the 92256663, that part number corresponds to what I pulled out of the Caprice and also says excluding JFI, which means without aluminum pedal covers. So that makes sense. It matches up with what I found in the Caprice or any Caprice. So I pulled that out and the one I ordered is the one on the top, the 92256662, although it's been superseded. Um, if you look at the RPO codes, again, the MYC for the six speed 6L80E automatic transmission, that matches up and the JF5 is listed for aluminum pedal covers. So that is the accelerator pedal with the aluminum cover that I wanted. And then I ended up ordering the 92507616. So that's the part number I ordered. And that's what I ended up installing and what I've been showing you in this video. Well, this achieved a couple of objectives for me. One, it made a comfort level change, not just an appearance change with respect to the dead pedal cover. By putting the shims underneath it, it elevated the resting location for my left foot, and that then elevated the position that my left thigh would be on the seat. Of course, the bolstering in the driver's seat for the Caprice PPV is not quite as stern as the one in the SS sedan, but it still was kind of digging into my left thigh there. And I showed you a couple of pictures where my leg was elevated and it, it, this is enough to make a functional change to the seating position to make a comfort level improvement for me. It may not be something for you. You might just want to add the cover without the shims, but that's what I did to change that for, for my comfort level in the vehicle. Now the brake pedal and the accelerator pedal both of those are part numbers straight off the SS sedan. So again, check out the description section of the video for that part number information. I don't have the part number information for that uh, dead pedal cover. I purchased it four or five years ago and I don't see, it might take me a long time to find it, but you can find one of your own liking. 
And if you want to support the channel, check out the affiliate links down in the description section as well. And if you want to become an ongoing supporter of the company, check out Patreon. And if you want to do one-time donation to the company to help support the efforts, because uh, the Caprice is a hungry beast. So <laughs> if you want to do that, I have a, a PayPal one-time link where you can send a donation to the channel. But if you use the affiliate links, you make a purchase through those affiliate links. It's no extra cost to you, but it does help support the channel. So hopefully you find the information in the video helpful to you. If you do, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification to make sure you're notified when I upload new videos like this to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.